योग कर्मसु कौशल नमस्कार माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर प्रीति मयानी फ्रॉम एच आर डी से गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल एट दस वंडरफुल सेशन वी हैव a resource person professor dr jagdeep sonmane ji he is a professor at maharaja krishna kumar singh ji bhavnagar university bhavnagar he has experience of more than 15 years in the teaching and research activities he is the member of research advisory committee diet gcrt under his guidance more than 10 students has completed uh, that phd degree and more than 82 students uh, completed their research work uh, in master he has completed his one major project of nrgf government of gujarat two minor projects with jcrt he is doing his duty as an editor of uh, in various journals of education and research he is also a member of board of studies in maharaja krishna kumar singh ji bhavnagar university member of academic committee of maharaja krishna kumar singh ji bhavnagar university he has published more than 14 books Uh, one textbook and uh, he has also given his expertise in swayam and bice more than 43 papers he has published in international and national journals of research and education he is also a vice president of cte gujarat state and life member of ai aer so friends today uh, we have uh, this uh, personality as a resource person professor dr jagdeep sonmane ji so i would like to welcome him on behalf of hrdc gujarat university i'm also welcoming all the participants uh, in this uh, course so friends let's have this wonderful session with professor dr jagdeep sonmane ji namaskar i professor jr sonmane work as professor at department of education maharaja krishna kumar singh ji bhavnagar university bhavnagar gujarat welcome all of you on behalf of hrdc Gujarat University, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Friends, today in this lecture we are going to get information regarding learning. Our lecture includes meaning of learning. When does learning start? Some resources for further information regarding learning. Definition of learning. Thus, concept of learning. will be discuss friend first of all i would like to introduce to uh, the books that are useful understand the present topic in depth dear colleagues psychology shows that learning becomes very easy and meaningful when you have knowledge about the root or sources with the use of sources or root we can increase our vision for the particular topic so friends here we will see some more informative books 
for our topic. Let's see. Our first book is Visible Learning by John Hattie. John Hattie's landmark book Visible Learning synthesizes the result of more than 15 years research involving uh, millions of students, the largest ever collection of evidence-based research on what actually works in school to improve learning. This sequel takes the next step and explain how to apply the principle from visible learning in your classroom. This book offers concise and user-friendly summaries of the most successful practices and interventions. Practical step-by-step -step guidance for successfully implementing visible learning and visible teaching and checklist exercises case studies and best practices scenarios to maximize achievement in schools now next book is the art of learning by ways the art of learning takes reader through ways unique journey of excellence he explains in clear detail how a well thought out principles approach uh, to learning is what separates success from failure. Author believes that achievement, even at the championship level, is a function of a lifestyle that fuels a creative, a strong growth process rather than focusing on uh, climatics ways author reveals the inner workings of his everyday method from systematically uh, triggering intuitive uh, breakouts to improving techniques into state of remarkable uh, potency to mastering the art of performance psychology now our third book is how we learn by uh, benedict carey in how we learn award-winning uh, science reporter benedict carey sits through decades of education research and landmark studies to uncover the truth about how our brains observe and retain information. What he discovered is that from the moment we are born, we are all learning quickly, efficiently, and automatically. But in our zeal to synthesize the process, we have ignored valuable, naturally enjoyable uh, learning tools like uh, forgetting, sleeping, and uh, daydreaming is a dedicated desk in a quiet room really the best way to study can we altering our routine improve your recall are there times when uh, distraction is good is repetition necessary Carry search for answer to these questions yields a wealth of strategies that make learning more a part of our everyday lives and less of choice. Now our fourth book is How Learning Works, 7 Research Based Principles for Smart Teaching by Susan A. Ambrose, Michael V. Bridges, Michael A. Uh, D. Pietro, Marcia C. Lloyd, Mary K. Norman, Richard E. Mayer. How Learning Works is the perfect title for this excellent book. Drawing upon new research in psychology, education, and, and cognitive science, 
the author have clarified a complex topic into clear explanation of seven powerful learning principles full of great ideas and practical suggestions all based on solid research evidence this book are uh, essential reading for instructors at all levels who wish to improve the student learning now fifth book is teach students how to learn by sondra mcgere strategies you can incorporate in any course of improve students metacognition study skill and motivation for over a decade sondra mcgere has been acclaimed for her presentation and workshop of metacognition and student learning because the tools and strategies she had she has shared have enabled faculty to facilitate a uh, dramatic improvements in the student learning and success the methods she uh, proposes do not require a uh, uh, restructuring courses not uh, indeed and uh, inordinate amount of time to teach they can often be accomplished in a single session transforming a student from uh, memorizing and uh, repeats to students who begin to think critically and take responsibility for their own learning while stressing that there are many ways to teach effectively and that readers can be flexible in picking and choosing among the strategies she presented author offers the reader a step by step process for delivering the key messages of the book to student uh, in as little as 50 minutes some uh, free online supplements uh, provide uh, three slide sets and sample video uh, lecture now our sixth book is visual spatial learners differentiation strategies for uh, creating a successful classroom by alexandra gola visual spatial lectures learners are student who show advanced ability with uh, computers maps uh, construction toys and puzzles the techniques outlined within this pages help all learners succeed regardless of uh, preferred learning style based on the most current understanding of the brain's functions the author provides a number of strategies and lesson plan ideas to help make your classroom a successful learning environment for all learners these strategies address a uh, preparing student to succeed uh, on time test easing the pain of handwriting teaching spelling using uh, imagery incorporating prompts rhyme or uh, and uh, other tricks that engage that uh, right part of the brain helping a uh, student stay focused and on track getting and keeping students organized and much more now our next book is building powerful learning environments from school to communities by erina bocas building powerful learning environments takes a close look at the trends of the post digital era through the uh, prism of how system of education can meet the needs of our times and offer a systematic approach to creating a different canvas for learning that uh, aligns to these changes all the center of the book are 
the concepts of a learning environment in the culture of partnership. A learning environment has traditionally been viewed as uh, something that educators created and sustained inside their schools. Building a powerful learning environment explains this understanding to embrace families, communities, other learning institutions and business not as, as uh, helpers but as co-builders of a powerful learning environment. It demonstrates that schools have to take the first step in the uh, direction by becoming the center of a new educational culture, a culture of partnership. This book looks into various ways of uh, creating this culture at district, school and classroom levels. It provides practical guidance, strategies, and tips as well as some conceptual understanding of what can be done to create and support this culture at various level of educational leadership. Now next helpful book is Handbook of Research on Learning and Instruction by Richard E. Mayer and Patricia Alexander, both are editors. This one is edited book. The book uh, is divided into two sections, learning and instruction. The learning section consists of chapters on how people learn in reading, writing, mathematics, science, history, second language and physical education as well as how people uh, acquire the knowledge and processes required for critical thinking, uh, studying, self-regulation and motivation etc. The instruction section consists of chapters on effective instructional methods, uh, feedback, examples, questioning, tutorials, visualizations, simulations, inquiry, discussion, collaboration, peer modeling and adaptive uh, instruction. As with the first edition, this updated volume showcases the best research being done on learning and instruction by navigating a broad display of academic domains. Now our next book is Visible Learning for Teacher Maximizing Impact on Learning by John Hattie. Visible Learning for Teachers takes a next step and brings some groundbreaking concept to a completely new audience written for students, pre-service and uh, in-service teachers. It explains how to apply the principles of visible learning to any classroom anywhere in the world. The author offers concise and user-friendly uh, summaries of the most successful intervention and offer practical step-by-step -step guidance to the successful implementation of visible learning and visible teaching in the classroom. Now, our next book is Designs for Learning Environments of the Future, International Perspective from the Learning Sciences by uh, Michael Jacobson and Peter Rainman, both are editors. Few things are as certain as uh, societal changes and the pressing need for educators to prepare students with the knowledge and ways of thinking necessary for the 
challenges in changing world. In the forward thinking pages of uh, designs for learning environments of the future, international teams of uh, researcher presents emerging uh, developments and findings in learning sciences and technologies at the infrastructure, curricular and classroom levels. Focusing on the ideas about designing innovative environments for learning in areas such as uh, biology, engineering, genetics, mathematics, computer science, the book surveys, a range of learning technologies being explored around the world, a spectrum as diverse as digital media, computer modeling and 3D virtual world and addresses challenges arising from their design and use. The editor's holistic perspective frames these innovations as not only discrete technologies but as flexible learning environments that foster students' engagement, participation and collaboration. Contributors describe possibilities for teaching and learning in this and uh, other cutting edge areas like uh, working with hypermodels and model based reasoning. Next, using visual representations in teaching abstract concept. Next, designing strategies for learning in virtual world. Supporting net based collaborative teams. Integrating innovative learning technologies into schools. Developing personal learning communities designed for learning environments of the future will enhance the work of a wide range of professionals including researcher and graduate student in the learning and uh, cognitive sciences and, and educators in the physical and social sciences. Now our next book is Visible Learning into Action International Case Studies of Impact by John Hattie, Deb Masters and Kate Beach. Visible learning into action takes the next step in the evolving visible learning story. It translates one of uh, the biggest and most critical uh, acclaimed education research project ever undertaken into case studies of actual success stories implementing uh, John Hattie's ideas in the, in the classroom of schools all around the world. The evidence-based studies presented in this book describe the visible learning journeys of 15 schools from Australia, USA, Hong Kong, UK, Sweden, New Zealand and Norway and uh, are representative of the virtual learning international community of schools in the request of uh, ensure all of their students exceed their potential for academic success. Each school story will inform and uh, inspire, bringing to life the uh, discussions, actions and reflections from leaders, teachers, students and families. Now our next book is Interpersonal Communication Putting Theory into Practice by Denise 
Solomon and Jennifer Thais. In this text, Dennis Solomon and Jennifer Thais demonstrates that interpersonal communication skills are not just common sense nor are uh, they mysterious qualities that uh, defy learning. Interpersonal communication, putting theory into practice, draw on theory and research in the interpersonal communication discipline to help you identify strategies to improve your communication skills. Denise and Jane introduce interpersonal communication as a subject of scientific research that has enormous relevance to your daily lives. You will learn to use what, what researchers have discovered about interpersonal communication to improve your own ability to communicate skill. You will also read about contemporary research in international communication, a foundation for establishing skill building tips. So friends, these are the books I found useful to get more information for the present topic. Now we will move to our next point.